everybody being here today. I hope everybody had a good summer. Uh, all our players reported back today. A lot of excitement in this building and just excitement to get started. Um, we spoke a lot about it in SEC media days, but the ability to go back to 85 scholarships, opportunity to compete, go to a bowl game in the postseason, and what we've done all season with our staff and how hard the guys have worked all summer, changing their bodies, getting ready to go, getting acclimated to a new defense, new offense, but just uh, very excited. And you can feel the energy in the building and uh, the looks on the kids' faces. Uh, a, lot, a lot of youth in here. There's going to be a lot of competition, but just really excited to uh, for this month of August to really build and mold this team. So excited, ready to get started. With that, I'll open it up uh, for any questions. Raise your hand if you have a question. We'll bring the mic to you. Who's to start us off? We can start with Chuck down here. Coach, how much of this uh, fall camp is going to be about building confidence and, and the mental side of football rather than the physical side, you think? Yeah, I, you know, I think uh, I think it will be big just from the experience standpoint. But uh, I think – you know, it starts with, with guys with building this team, being an unselfish team, trying to be mentally and physically tough, and then being in great shape. You know, I think, I think that's huge. I think that's very, very important. But, uh, you know, being in great shape and being a disciplined football team, being young and somewhat inexperienced, especially on offense, I think that will be very important. Matt, earlier this week, you guys announced Alex Gibbons would be somewhat limited, and then uh, Darius Thomas will, will will not be practicing tomorrow. Can you just kind of talk a little bit about particularly Alex and uh, you know what the prognosis is, how soon you guys are hoping they will be back, and things like that? Yeah, so Alex had a uh, lower back injury um, kind of late June, and we, we looked at a bunch of different options, and we went, ahead, we went ahead and had the surgery. That was the quickest way to get him back. We're still hopeful he's going to play against Memphis. Uh, we'll be limited some through camp, but then we'll be able to start running, and then hopefully the week of the game, start getting back and, and getting ready to go. And as far as Darius, he had a heart condition. We're going to reevaluate him in September. But he's going to be here in the 110, and we're hopeful again that he's going to be able to play toward the end of the season. Man, what about the rest of the injuries? A bunch of guys in green in the spring, and uh, maybe just. Yeah, those, those two are, are the two big ones that uh, will be will be limited early. Uh, just looking at the sheet, uh, Alex Faniel is going to be a little bit limited. He had a stomach issue here over the last week. Uh, Luke Knox has a hamstring, so he'll be a little bit limited early on. And then Custis, uh, just coming back from his knee injury, just not 100% there yet. He'll, he'll, he will be out there and be going, but I think he, mentally he's got to turn the corner. But, uh, but he'll be, you know, I think probably week two he'll be full go. Jay was good. Jay was fine. Yeah. With Alex and Darius kind of limited, who are you kind of looking to step up and tackle this, this fall? Right. You know, it's going to start with uh, with Bryce Matthews and Michael Howard. Very pleased with Michael this summer. Put on 20 pounds and looks great. He's in that 285 range, so very, very excited about that. And we always have Royce. If a guard steps up, boys will have the ability to move out. And then well, I think we have two young freshmen that I'm really, really excited about. You know, I think you reserve judgment until out there at practice, but uh, with the numbers the way they are and us signing so many young players, some of those guys will have to step in and provide them. Which freshman in particular? Uh, you know, I think Nick Broker, Jeremy James. Nick Nick has kind of separated himself in some of the conditioning stuff and, and his mentality. But uh, I think Jeremy is a very talented kid, too, that can play out there. And then I think Royce is kind of that wild card that he's playing guard. Uh, if we have another guard step up, he can always move out. And then, you know, Bryce has been around and Michael's been around. Those guys are, you know, even though they haven't played a ton, they, uh, they, they've been around a bunch. And, and I'm, you know, I'm excited to see what they're going to do. How do you go about getting those young freshmen linemen just physically ready to play SEC football? It's tough. You know, I think it's probably the hardest position because of, number one, the guys you're playing against in this league, but also, uh, how much stuff happens in front of you happens very quickly. But I, I, I am, uh, I think both of those young men are very, very smart, they're intelligent, and that they can handle it. It's just going out there and doing it and building that confidence. The coaches, uh, Coach Rodriguez was talking about how sometimes, you know, the thing you don't know with freshmen is, is how they're going to do that first time they're out there. And obviously the Memphis game is very important for y'all. 
how, is there, are there any tricks or are there any things that you try to try to simulate how they might act out there to get that crazy moment out of the way? Like, what, what's that like? Well, you know, I think it is tough to go out there and play underneath the lights, but you just, you simulate it as much as you can in practice. You know, out there in the scrimmages, they're going to be playing against some really good D-linemen in practice and in those scrimmages. And so you throw them out there and you step back, get the coaches off the field, you don't tell them what to do, you go out there and you put them in as many of those situations in those scrimmages as you can. And that, that's as close to the game as you can get. So I think simulating it, uh, you know, with one-on-one -on -one pass rush, putting them out there in the scrimmages in the stadium, I think, I think that'll be very important for the young guys.